hey what is the pair one welcome back to future coders today in this video we are going to be building this new year countdown project using javascript html and css so let's see what exactly are we going to be building so this is what we are going to be building it's very simple uh, by seeing only you can see it's a new year countdown it actually counts the number of days and hours minutes and seconds left for the next year all right so before we actually start building this please make sure you smash that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel i make tutorials on javascript projects if you want more javascript projects like these please make sure you subscribe to our channel and if you haven't watched our previous videos i uploaded analog clock distant clock and uh, still i will be uploading some more javascript projects so make sure you subscribe all right let's start building this Alright, inside our HTML, inside body, let's actually start adding the HTML required for this project. So we will add an H1 saying new year countdown. And inside uh, after this, we are actually having to, to create a countdown div. So inside this, uh, we'll have a days. Similarly, let's copy paste this one div for the days one div for displaying the hours and the div for displaying the minutes and finally the seconds all right that's it for the html part now let's actually start working on the javascript before we actually jump onto the css because that's there is no content here right so yeah let's working start working on the javascript now so we need to get the containers right so we need to display days hours months uh, sorry seconds right so we need to get those containers so these are the containers which we need to get a hold of and here let's create days container so we can do document dot get element by id we have given an id as days right similarly days container is over we need to do hours container the id is hours similarly minutes container id is going to be minutes and finally seconds seconds let me just cross check all the seconds minutes hours days all right perfect now let's create a function our function update countdown this function is going to be called every second so that's why i have named it as update countdown so for this countdown first we need to set a new year right so the new year for uh, this year is 2023 so of course the new year is going to be 2024 right so let's set it so the new year is going to be a new date we will set as jan it should be inside a string january it did i spell okay january 1 2024 and we also need to set hours minutes and seconds all right we have set the new year so we need to find the difference so we also need to get the current time now so you are uh, using uh, similarly the J javascript date object we can get the date so now we have the current time and the new year that is going to be coming in the future we need to find the difference so let find the difference so difference is going to be new year minus current time so that's going to be the difference right now we can calculate days hours minutes and seconds so let's do let's days we need to calculate the number of days which are uh, remaining for the next new year so we can do by doing diff uh, the difference divided by um we need to do thousand let's go okay all right and uh, 60 and again into 60 and 24 hours and yeah the result which is will be coming in the floating point so we need to use mat dot lower
not flute it should be floor all right so using this logic we can get the number of days which are actually currently remaining for the next year all right so similarly let's also get hours so similarly we'll do mat dot floor and now we need to do difference let's wrap this inside another one so difference mod and uh, again the same thing and uh, 24 and now i need to actually divide it by this thing so that we can get the hours now so once we have the hours we need to calculate the minutes as well so minutes again mat dot floor so to get uh, the minutes so again we'll do difference mod let's wrap this thing difference mod thousand into 60 into 60 to get the day sorry get the minutes and divide it by thousand into 60 all right once we have the minutes and let's also get the seconds this is going to be a lot all right mat dot floor we need to do difference mod thousand into 60 and again divided by thousand all right since we have the number of days hours minutes and seconds so we just need to display it and we are done with this all right so yeah let's display it so in the days container and i will just say inner html i will add append days and uh, i will add a string inside the span So inside the span i will just give a space and this all right we need to call this function let's call this function yeah as you can see it displaying nine four two nine days did we do it correctly all right as you can see it displaying something else right so yep let's remove this okay here i have added equals right so this should be a different so yeah that's yeah now it works fine now yes all right similarly let's copy paste these so instead of this i was container it should be minutes container it should be seconds container and here it should be hours minutes seconds all right so yeah i of course i need to update these also hours minutes and seconds all right and we can see that we have our 292 days zero hours 10 minutes four seconds all right so yep now uh, so in order to uh, update it every second so we need to use set interval so that this function is called every second so all right uh, here i don't need to invoke this so as you can see the seconds is still not updating i think it's, it should be somewhere some error in the formula so let me just cross check so yeah okay i think this should be it let me just see difference all right so this is a problem okay it would be like this and uh, here it should have one more bracket yeah that's it as you can see now the seconds are being updated right so let's quickly start working on the css now as usual let's use body and set the background color as our favorite color grayish color max width is going to be 900 pixels and margin 3 rem to the top and bottom and auto to the left and right so center everything and uh, 
text align let's set text align to center all right that's it and uh, let's target the countdown that's the main container right so here i'll target the countdown so for the countdown let's set the font size to 2.5 rem all right there we have it font weight is going to be not normal it should be bold and background color let's set it as white all right and border radius of 1 rm so it looks not sharp so box shadow let's add the box shadow of rgba uh, it should be zero green should be zero and blue should also be zero and it should be very subtle box shadow so zero pixels four pixels and 12 pixels yes and uh, inside the countdown we have these divs right so let's target those divs let's do display inline block yeah, so that they uh, okay all right margin let's do 0 0.2 to the top and bottom 0 to and 0.5 rm to the left and right all right yeah there we have and uh, let's also do uh, inside this div we have added a span right so inside javascript we have added a span so let's color it as purple and we also need to add some padding over here so let's add padding 3 rm all right there we have yeah that's it for the new year countdown if you want to download the source code of this project so you can head over to my website and there you can scroll down and you can find the source code of this project all right you can just scroll down as you can see this is an article uh, written and you can scroll down you can find the html you can find javascript and you can also find the css and you can also download the source code by clicking on this download button all right that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to smash that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching